Hello there, friends. It's Miss Stephanie from the Chester Public Library back with another story time. Let's jump right in. This is a book called Sun. We've also read a story by the same author or writer called Moon, which sometimes we think is the opposite of Sun. So if you remember, Moon was about a little girl who was friends with a wolf. And Sun looks like it's about a little boy who's friends with a what kind of animals on our cover. Yeah, a fox. So this is Sun by Allison Oliver. Sun was a star, a star, a soccer star. Did anyone else play soccer? He loved the game. He loved the cheers. Woo! Yay! Go Sun! But something was missing. His brother was busy making art. He looked happy. Sun decided to take his ball down to the beach. He thought about his brother. Sun used to make art too. As he walked, he noticed all the things the ocean had washed out. Let's see what we notice. What do you see that the ocean has washed out on this page? Yeah, I see a crab, some shells, maybe a bottle cap. What's this? A toothbrush. Things the ocean had washed out. He climbed up and down the dunes. Then he saw something unusual, a little house. It was mysterious. It was magical. How did it get there? All of a sudden, he was nose to nose with a fox. What colors are fox? Nice, bright, orange. And what does f -f fox begin with? for a fox. Fox ran down the dune to the water's edge. Sun followed. Fox showed him how to trot, how to dive, how to find things. How to create. Together, they made a robot, a dragon, and a sundial. That helps us tell what time it is by looking at the sun and the shadows. And finally, an entire galaxy. Soon the sun began to set. Sun and Fox sat together and watched. Sun listened to the waves and felt the breeze on his face. He felt connected to everything. Then he noticed the shadow on the sundial. It was late. Time to go. Back home, Sun and Pablo got to work. And it was magical. What did Sun and Pablo make with their creation? And who is peeking behind them to check it out? I think I see a fox. What a pretty, pretty picture book and a nice story. All right, friends, let's do apples and bananas. Warm up our mouths. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. I like to eight, eight, eight apples and bananas. I like to eight, eight, eight apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat 
eeples and beninis. I like to eat, 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 eeples and beninis. I like to eat, 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 eeples and beninis. And I like to oat, 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 opals and bonobos. I like to oat, 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 opals and bonobos. And I like to oot, 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 opals and bonobos. I like to oot, 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 opals and bonobos. And I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat. Eat, eat apples and bananas. All right, on to book number two. Oh, this is a silly one. It has counting and rhyming, so get ready to have some fun. This is I Knew To Who Said Moo, a counting and rhyming book written by Judy Barrett, illustrated by Daniel Moriton. What do we have on the front page? We have one, two cows and some sort of bug. And what are the cows saying? What do cows say? Moo. So I knew too who said moo. I found only one weighing a ton who had just begun lying in the sun on a toasted bun, having lots of fun, playing the accordion and thinking he should run before he's too well done. They named all those rhyming things in the picture. One, ton, begun, sun, bun, fun, accordion, run, and done. They all rhyme. They have the same sounds. All right, moving on to two. I knew two. Who said moo? All dressed in blue. Sitting in a shoe. On the avenue with noses they blew because of the flu, getting a shampoo before the barbecue given by the kangaroo and the you at the zoo. Whoo! All right, see if you can spot the words when I read all the rhyming parts again. Two, moo, blue, shoe, avenue, blue, flu, Shampoo, barbecue, kangaroo, you, zoo, whoo! What a book this is. All right, are you ready to move on to number three? Listen to me. As you can see, there are just three sitting in a tree, all drinking tea and eating macaroni while playing a symphony. One's holding a key, one's balancing a pea, one has a bumblebee on its knee. We agree? All right, take a look and I'll read the rhyming words again. Three, me, see, three, tree, tea, macaroni, Symphony, key, P, bumblebee, knee, agree. All right, ready for four. I met four at the door when it started to pour. Their toes were quite sore, which made them all roar and lie down on the floor. And what's more, they started to snore. All right, look around. Four, door, pour, sore, roar, floor, more, snore. All right, ready for five. I watched five arrive and saw them dive off their hive onto the drive. They're all still alive and they know they'll survive and most certainly thrive. All right, arrive, 
dive, hive, drive, alive, survive, thrive. Oh, what comes after five? Six. All right. How many numbers do we think are in this book? Probably 10, but we'll find out. We're on six. I noticed six, all holding picks, trying to mix a pile of bricks with a bunch of sticks so they could fix the house for the chicks who performed tricks and recited limericks. All righty, take a look. Six, picks, mix, bricks, sticks, fix, chicks, tricks, limericks. That's a silly type of poem. Whoo, all right, we're getting close to the end here. Seven. I counted just seven, not 11, all jumping up toward heaven. One's name is Evan. Three are named Kevin and three are named Devin. 18, shouted Evan, is seven plus seven. Oh, this is a big counting one. Okay, seven, 11, heaven, Evan, Kevin, Devin, Evan, seven. And what comes after seven? All right, eight. I heard that all eight arrived late. We were told to wait at the gate. Each brought a plate, but before they ate, they wanted to state, this food is great. It's beans we hate. Eight, late, wait, gate, plate, eight, state, great, hate. And time for nine. I noticed nine looking just fine, standing in line, in the sunshine, holding balls of twine, pointing to a porcupine with a valentine and a big sign saying, be mine. All right, look around. We have nine, fine, line, sunshine, twine, porcupine, valentine, sign, be mine. All right, I think we're getting to the last one. 10. Hold up 10 on your fingers. It's two whole hands. 10. Then I saw 10 watching a hen named Gwen writing the letter N over and over again with a pen borrowed from a wren named Ben. Then, 10, hen, Gwen, N, again, pen, Ren, and Ben. And that is I Knew Two Who Said Moo, a counting and rhyming book. What a fun book, my friends. All right. I'm gonna do a new song with you today. It's not a new song, but we've never done it on here. It's one that I liked when I was a little kid and I started bringing those songs back in to give us more to work with. So this is Little Red Wagon. If you don't know it, you'll catch on. So there's lots of different parts to this song. So we start about talking about being in the red wagon and then we start talking about parts of the wagon that broke and how we can fix it. But we're gonna fix it with silly things in this song. So. I'll just show you how it goes and you can jump in when you're ready. Bumping up and down in my little red, red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? 
One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? Now here's where we get to have some fun and see how we can fix it. So we'll start out with David's gonna fix it with a hammer. David's gonna fix it with a hammer. David's gonna fix it with a hammer. Won't you be my darling? Hmm, what else can we use to fix the wagon? All right, mom's gonna fix it with a screwdriver. Mom's gonna fix it with a screwdriver. Mom's gonna fix it with a screwdriver. Won't you be my darling? Mm, what else can we use to fix it? Let's get a little silly. Hmm, Katie's gonna fix it with a sandwich. Katie's gonna fix it with a sandwich. Katie's gonna fix it with a sandwich. Won't to be my darling. Hmm, what else? Harry's gonna fix it with a toothbrush. Harry's gonna fix it with a toothbrush. Harry's gonna fix it with a toothbrush. Won't you be my darling? Hmm, what other things can we use as tools? Hmm, Miss Stephanie's gonna fix it with a spatula. Miss Stephanie's gonna fix it with a spatula. Miss Stephanie's gonna fix it with a spatula. Won't you be my darling? Hmm, what about Luna's gonna fix it with a rowboat. Luna's gonna fix it with a rowboat. Luna's gonna fix it with a rowboat. Want to be my darling? Hmm, let's do one more silly verse, then we'll go back to the beginning. Hmm. Do you have any ideas? Shout them out. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Robbie's gonna fix it with a snow cone. Robbie's gonna fix it with a snow cone. Robbie's gonna fix it with a snow cone. Won't you be my darling? We're bumping up and down in the little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red, red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Isn't that such a fun one? You get to be very creative when thinking of tools to, like, you can use to fix it. Do you think we fixed the wagon with all those silly tools? Probably not, but we still had fun using our imaginations. All right, one more book for us today, my friends. This is called Dear Girl. It's by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Paris Rosenthal, illustrated by Holly Hatem. Dear Girl. Dear Girl, keep that arm raised. You have smart things to say. Dear girl, sometimes you may feel like being pink and sparkly. Sometimes you may feel pretty much the opposite. Dear girl, look at yourself in the mirror. Say thank you to something that makes you you. Thank you, freckles. Thank you, birthmark. Thank you, red hair. Dear girl, sometimes you just need a good cry. Sometimes you'll need a friend. Sometimes you'll need to be alone. Sometimes you'll need a tissue. Sometimes you'll need a bucket. Dear girl, did you know that there's no such thing as asking too many questions? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Dear girl, write down your thoughts once in a while. Even if, even if it's just to enjoy the way your pen feels against the paper. Dear girl, make your room awesome. Make your room you. And while you're at it, mm, make your bed. Dear girl, never lose your sense of wonder. Dear girl, sometimes you've just got to stop and dance. Dear girl, find people like you. Find people unlike you. Dear girl, create traditions, fun, crazy handshakes, and silly inside jokes. 
your girl. If your instinct is telling you to say no, say no, you know? Dear girl, coloring outside of the lines is cool too. Dear girl, there are no rules about what to wear or how to cut your hair. Dear girl, you know what's really boring? When people say how bored they are. Dear girl, gosh, I don't know. I've got this. Listen to your brave side. Dear girl, you won't be invited to every single party on the planet, which is really okay. Can you imagine how exhausting that would be? Dear girl, a tree trunk is the perfect place for quiet thoughts to be thunk. Dear girl, whenever you need an encouraging boost, remember you can turn to any page in this book. Most of all, dear girl, who I love, know that you can always, always, always turn to me. Miss Stephanie loves that book. I hope you did too. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me for story time. Hopefully I'll see you next time. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you another time.